Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Mental Metal Channel. Listen, I was in Virginia a few days ago, and I just got back from uh, my first experience ever at a DIV or digging in Virginia hunt, and I had the best time. I can't even de describe to you how fun it was. I even lost a day due to rain, but we still had a blast. The group I was with, the carpool I was with, uh, Bob, Shockey, he was the driver, Keith, Brian, Ed, Deb, they're all great folks, and I couldn't have asked for a better group. As a matter of fact, uh, if it wasn't for Keith and Ed, I probably wouldn't know what a couple of these relics are that I have hanging around my neck and in my hand. I'll go into that in a minute. So I took the White's TDI with me and the machine worked flawlessly. Um, a lot of guys down there have these GPX machines, a couple thousand dollar packages. I just couldn't shove it out. I couldn't I couldn't spend that much money on my first DIV. So I bought this machine from a guy on the DIV forums. He brought me down to his area down in Virginia. We hunted with the machine, showed me how to use it. These are basically the settings I have. I have the Garrett Z-Link on here too. But in case you think about using a TDI down in Virginia and, and the DIV hunts, here's the settings I used. Gain was completely cranked. Uh, threshold I usually had somewhere around there, just so I could hear the the, th the slight hum. All metal mode. Frequency in the middle here, didn't really mess with that too much. Ground balancing, I don't know if you can see it very good, but... Between 7 and 8 is where I had to be to ground balance. Pulse delay around 11, 12, maybe 13. And that's it. I mean, that's, I, had, I kept the machine there the, most of the time. Just ground balance a little bit here and there. And it worked like a champ. Now, the catch 22 with the TDI is if you don't use it very much, you have a hard time figuring out what stuff is. So... I had to dig just about everything I heard just because I didn't know what the difference between a nail and a bullet and how deep things were versus how shallow. Eventually I found or I figured out a couple of different techniques, but I still I didn't trust myself. I still dug everything. I have bags and bags of nails and scrap iron that I dug. But from what I did find, I found some really cool stuff for my first time. And again, I want to thank all those guys that were with me during the, the carpool and, and helping me identify some of the stuff. But before I talk about any of that stuff or anything that I found, I did find some really cool stuff. Let, let's go just into the video so you guys can see what I was able to dig while I was there. <laughs> Day one of DIV 37. There's my ride, Bob. Brian's next to him. Ed's tying his shoes. <laughs> and Keith, what are you doing? I don't know. Just hang out. I don't know. <laughs> People out here already? Look at that red ground. We'll be out of here shortly. Some up on top of this big ridge. Bob's over there, I think. Um, haven't found much so far. Just a couple pieces of. Uh, got a can. Got some chain. That's about it. Suppos supposedly in this field, there's been a lot of bullets found. So I'm going slow, hoping to find one or two maybe. But it's a beautiful farm. Alright, my luck's about to change. Look what I got. Horseshoe. Is it Civil War? I don't know. But it's a horseshoe. Small one too. Mission complete. I got it fired. Or potentially... I think it's fired. Mini ball. Looks like 58 caliber. 
Yay. I got a bullet. Put it down about 10 inches. Hey guys, so I'm just having some liquid refreshments because out here in DIV, you need to stay hydrated because you're walking around endlessly and if you're not careful, you can get dehydrated. So, just taking a little break, having myself a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a little protein, and taking a break. It's 10.30, I've been out here since uh, a couple, for a couple hours now, and I found a lot of iron, a lot of horseshoes. I did find one bullet, so today is not a bust, I found a bullet, but it's tough, conditions are hard. This ground ain't no joke. I mean, check it out. It's red. It's red could be like Mars. So when you put your pinpointer in that, it just goes off. So any of you noobs out there who want to get on the uh, DIV train, um, yeah, these conditions are the, the worst I've ever dug in. But, I mean, if you have a pulse machine, I have the TDI, and it seems to be working just fine. But just keep in mind, this ground is no joke. <laughs> It gets on everything too. It's everything's turning orange, reddish orange. But it is okay. Alright, we just broke for lunch. I'm heading down to another area of the farm here. See if I can do better than one bullet so far. But I'll take it. It's one bullet. That's where I came from, Big Hill. Looking forward to that climb. Not. Second bullet of the day. I don't know what kind of bullet that one is. Look what I just pulled out of the ground. Some glass on top of that. It gets even better. Look. Look down there. You know what this is, folks? <laughs> that is a Civil War relic. Well, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon, and uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. This has been a long day. Back hurts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> how, you, uh, how you doing? I got a couple bullets. Uh, J-hook. Did all right first time I guess I'm not complaining Oops. I'm gonna call this a trifecta because I have snot running down my nose <laughs> It's almost 6 o'clock in the afternoon on day one of DIV 37. And I think I got a button. So I got two bullets today, J-hook, camp lead, a lot of iron, and now maybe a button. Look, looky, looky. Did you guys see it down there? Oh, yes. I think that's what it is, folks. want to do too much to that looks like it's all there too front and back let me get my toothbrush out and see if I can make some detail for you yes all right I cleaned it up a little bit definitely you can see the eagle oh, focus there it is ha ah, look at that shield and eagle sweet score one for for me, it's been a pretty good day overall. It's been a long day. I could have button number two, and boy, it's a small one. Can you guys see it right here? It's either a really small button or a washer, but I think it's a button. Well, day one's done. I think I did pretty good today, considering it's my first time. 
Uh, a lot of people I talked to didn't have anything, so I'm pretty happy with my results. I got just dug a buckle a minute ago, but I don't know if it's Civil War era. But anywho, got a button today. I'll do a recap when I get back to the hotel. All right, so see you at the hotel. We got a long walk. All uphill. So today was a very long day. We walked from 7 o'clock in the morning to just about 7 o'clock this evening. So about 12 hours straight. This this DIV, the place we're at right now, Brandy Station or Brandy Camp, um, has been hunted like four or five times, maybe more. So the, the, the amount of fines people are having or getting is not like it used to be, I guess. And I, I don't know because I've not hunted this before. So to me, my expectations were very, very low. So today was a good day for me. It, it may not look like a lot, but here, here's what I got. I know I probably showed you this already in the field, but my keepers, the stuff that I'm pretty proud of finding today, even though they're horseshoes, you can find them anywhere. You just don't know what kind of horseshoes those are. They could have been Civil War. I don't know. They're not very big. Um, the one thing you didn't see that I didn't know I had was this picket pen. I didn't even know what a picket pen was until uh, one of the guys, Keith in our carpool, told me what it was. So a picket pen is basically something the cavalry would take, pound in the ground, and tie their horses up. Uh, to it. This would have had a loop on it that would have probably connected to here or had its own little loop on the end of it. And so I found one of these today. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of that. I'll clean that up and preserve that. I found a big hunk of glass right after I dug this bullet or out of the same hole. I thought maybe I have a, a pit or something or a hut kept digging it out, digging it out, but nothing else came out, but that's a pretty cool piece of glass. It's definitely Civil War era, because I've seen others dig bottles like that look like that today, so that's pretty neat. Um, I did get a grommet. That's pretty happy. I've never uh, dug a J-hook before. I got one today. That's awesome. Another little buckle here, and I don't know if this is a buckle from period or not. It could be just for a horse or something. Um, and my other bullet I found this morning, it was my first bullet. But then right as soon as, right before we left, I did find an eagle button, which is super awesome. Because I, I didn't know if I was going to find one of those or not. And it did, so tomorrow it's going to rain on us. Oh yeah, this, this was my second pile of junk. I did have another one just about the same size bag so I dig a lot I dig everything basically as you can see and everything is a lot of nails but out of everything that I dug I did get some keepers so tomorrow it's gonna get rained out I think but we have Saturday yet so we're gonna work it hard and go out strong hopefully so thanks for uh, watching day one Stay tuned for day two. So, until day two or day three, probably day three, see you then.